Hey, Michaela Light here, and today is my 90th video in 90 days. I have published a video every single day for nearly the last three months, and I started off a bit anxious about it. I don't know if you remember my first video. I was <laughs> so frightened about being live on camera, I had to take a walk while I made the video in order to calm down, uh, which is a good tactic, by the way, if you ever want to make videos. Um, and I made a conscious choice that uh, most of my videos would be done through Facebook Live, so they are live videos, no editing, no retouching. Um, I have published a few videos where I uh, recorded it uh, as a video and then did some mild editing, but that takes so much <laughs> more time. I'm so glad I went live. And I had fears about doing live video um, and recorded video, so about what other people would think of me, or what if I made a mistake, or what if I didn't know what to say, um, and all kinds of other wacky stuff going on in my brain, which I'm glad to say most of that is now out of my brain. Um, and I hope I, I mean, my belief is I have got better at doing video, um, I, both in the, you know, how to connect with the audience and the presentation, uh, but also in the technical side of things and different tools you can use. I, I got myself a, uh, a better phone because my other phone just would die after a few minutes of recording video because its battery or software wasn't happy. We're, we're not quite sure what happened with that. But the new one will lasts for a long time. I, I haven't ever maxed out the amount of time uh, recording video for the battery. I, I think it could record quite a few hours of a video no problem which is great um, even if it's live streaming so uh, it's a Zen phone 4 pro or something like that I, I don't know <laughs> if you're interested let me know in the comments um, so I also experimented with be live uh, TV I think is the website that lets you live stream uh, into Facebook um, and also have guests on a, a Facebook Live. So uh, I'm looking to play with that more. And I, you know, I learned the, the value of a good microphone. Uh, that's probably the number one key thing for good video. Um, and also for adding the importance of adding captions into YouTube videos or tight, you know, a, like a title card or whatever they call it. The thing at the beginning that says what it's about in big letters that are colorful that attracts people to your videos. Um, and for, for videos I did edit, I used, um, uh, what's it, director something or another. <laughs> I'll have to look the name of that thing up. Uh, but it's a phone app that lets you edit uh, your videos. And uh, I did learn to put uh, animated text into my videos to subtitle them. Um, I also learned a tool that would let me subtitle longer videos uh, in a more automated way. So lots of cool things. If you have questions about making videos, let me know in the uh, comments down here. Please give me a, a like or a, a comment. And I, I, some of the other things I learned is to say I'm an er less. I, I don't know if I'm not saying them at all, but I, I'm using them way less. I will pause for breath instead of using one of those filler sounds. Um, so that's a tip. And I, another thing I did on my laptop, I have a, a webcam on a laptop as probably you all do. And I just got a, like a, a silver marker pen and circled the webcam because before that it was hard for me to see where it was. And I wasn't looking in the eye of the camera, which meant I wasn't looking in your eyes when you're watching the video, which is kind of uh, not so connectful. So uh, I do that. I did that on my cell phone so I can see and remember where the heck the, the lens is. <laughs> um, so that's another little practical thing I did. So, um, but I'd say the major things I, I did were just overcoming my nervousness about what other people would think or having to be perfect or, you know, I must have my hair done right or if I'm wearing makeup, it has to be right. Or what about what gender I'm trying to portray? Uh, you know, it, none of that matters. It's just important to share things that people care about and are interested in and to connect uh, with the people watching the video. So, and have good sound. That's another important thing. People will suffer through bad quality 
uh, you know, visuals on a video if the sound quality is good. The opposite is not true. So I use a, I don't know if I can get it in screen now. There's the microphone, it's a little off screen. It, it's a nice ATR 2100. Um, I think they call it a shotgun mic. I am not 100% sure, but it, it's directional. That's the important thing. Uh, so it doesn't pick up background sound. So, um, yep. So that's the lessons I've learned. I will continue to make videos, probably not one every day, to be honest, because that is a commitment. There have been some days where I really didn't want to make a video, but like I made it anyway. Um, and I also had some backup, you know, recorded videos that I'd edited that I could upload if I was like traveling or just wasn't feeling good. So that's another tip. If you do one of these challenges, have some backup content. Um, but I highly recommend doing a 90 day content challenge, whether you do a, publish a video every day or you publish a blog post or some other content, maybe you're an artist and you do drawings or paintings. I, I don't know. Um, but the more you practice, the better you get. And, and I got over like having to do perfect videos. Um, you know, that, that is probably one of the key things I learned from this. So thanks so much for watching. And, um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the uh, chat and what would it take for you to create a fabulous rest of your day?